As they begin now to race on towards the two, unyielding with Boher Boy on the near side. Avergan Lass is third, and they're being followed. Best not argue towards the inside. Blossom Mills and Lahard trying to come towards the outside. Boher Boy and unyielding from Avergan Lass on the outside, and these three in front of Best not argue as they race now towards the final 200 yards. Boher Boy and Franberry in front. Avergan Lass on the near side as they run up towards the finish, and Avergan Lass and Declan McDonald on the near side of Boha Boy, very close between the two, and third is unyielding, and fourth home is best not argue ahead of Lahard. As they begin now to race on towards the two, unyielding with Boher Boy on the near side. Avergan Lass is third, and they're being followed. Best not argue towards the inside. Blossom Mills and Lahard trying to come towards the outside. Boher Boy and unyielding from Avergan Lass on the outside, and these three in front of Best not argue as they race now towards the final 200 yards. Boher Boy and Franberry in front. Avergan Lass on the near side as they run up towards the finish, and Avergan Lass and Declan McDonald on the near side of Boha Boy, very close between the two, and third is unyielding, and fourth home is best not argue ahead of Lahard. Cradle Mountain on the outside are vitally important. Then comes Strait of Zanzibar, followed by Labab on the inside. Specific Gravity, third dimension trying to improve on the outside, followed by Big Time. It's Cradle Mountain now with on the inside, vitally important. These two settling down to scrap it out. There are a couple of lengths in front of Maudling Madeline inside the last 150 now. Cradle Mountain on the inside, vitally important, is just inching ahead as they go towards the line. Vitally important, and Chris Hayes beat Cradle Mountain. Maudling Madeline is third, specific gravity and third dimension are next. Cradle Mountain on the outside are vitally important. Then comes Strait of Zanzibar, followed by Labab on the inside. Specific gravity, third dimension trying to improve on the outside, followed by Big Time. It's Cradle Mountain now with on the inside, vitally important. These two settling down to scrap it out. There are a couple of lengths in front of Maudling Madeline, inside the last 150 now. Cradle Mountain on the inside, vitally important, is just inching ahead as they go towards the line. Vitally important, and Chris Hayes beat Cradle Mountain. Maudling Madeline is third, specific gravity and third dimension are next. And then Swamp Fox and towards the outside, what's the plot? As they begin the run now towards the final furlong and a half, Lagos to Vegas, a couple of lengths clear, followed by Three Colours Red, Torty and Gras next, and what's the plot? And Pat Harkin with McCalla, Swamp Fox followed by High Pitch, racing now to the furlong pole, and Lagos to Vegas is out in front, followed in second place by Three Colours Red, and they're followed in third by what's the plot? And on the run up towards the finish, it's Lagos to Vegas and Connor Hoban, home by a good three lengths, three colours red, Swamp Fox will get the third, what's the plot for, and they're followed in by Never Again. And then Swamp Fox and towards the outside, what's the plot? As they begin the run now towards the final furlong and a half, Lagos to Vegas, a couple of lengths clear, followed by three colours red, Torty and Gras next, and what's the plot? And Pat Harkin with McCalla, Swamp Fox followed by High Pitch, racing now to the furlong pole, and Lagos to Vegas is out in front, followed in second place by three colours red, and they're followed in third by what's the plot? And on the run up towards the finish, it's Lagos to Vegas, and Connor Hoban, home by a good three lengths, three colours red, Swamp Fox will get the third, what's the plot for, and they're followed in by Never Again. Dancing Noretta is towards the outside, then comes Coslos for fun. No way Jack trying to make a bit of headway behind them ahead of Liffey View, but on the run now towards the final furlong and a half, and Boris Bike is out clear. In second place is Dancing Noretta who's staying on, and they're being followed by Liffey View as they race now well inside the last 200. It's Boris Bike in front being chased by Dancing Noretta who's closing on the outside. A break to Liffey View and No Way Jack, and running up to the finish now it's Dancing Noretta and Franberry who come through to grab the longtime leader, Boris Pike. 
No Way Jack is third, followed in by Liffey View, and on the outside for fifth, the Compeller. Sing Noretta's towards the outside, then comes Coslos for fun. No Way Jack trying to make a bit of headway behind them ahead of Liffey View, but on the run now towards the final furlong and a half, and Boris Bike is out clear. In second place is Dancing Noretta, who's staying on, and they're being followed by Liffey View as they race now well inside the last 200. It's Boris Bike in front, being chased by Dancing Noretta, who's closing on the outside, a break to Liffey View and No Way Jack, and running up to the finish now, it's Dancing Noretta and Franberry who come through to grab the long-time leader, Boris Bike. No Way Jack is third, followed in by Liffey View, and on the outside for fifth. They're being followed in third place by Gambling Girl on the inside with Silver Concord. Spacious Sky is next. They're beginning the run now towards the two mark. And Shamar and Little Rocky with on the outside Silver Concord. Gambling Girl the inside. Spacious Sky just behind them. They're racing now to the furlong point. And on the far side, Shamar, the near side is Silver Concord as they race inside the last 200. And Silver Concord and Finney Maguire just hit the front. Gambling Girl on the inside. Side, spacious Sky putting in a late bid the outside, but Silver Concord and Finney Maguire get there to land the odds. Spacious Sky and Gambling Girl followed in. They're being followed in third place by Gambling Girl on the inside with Silver Concord. Spacious Sky is next. They're beginning the run now towards the two mark. And Shamar and Little Rocky with on the outside Silver Concord. Gambling Girl the inside. Spacious Sky just behind them. They're racing now to the furlong point. And on the far side, Shamar, the near side is Silver Concord as they race inside the last 200 and Silver Concord and Finney Maguire just hit the front. Gambling Girl on the inside. Spacious Sky putting in a late bid the outside but Silver Concord and Finney Maguire get there to land the odds. Spacious Sky and Gambling Girl followed in. Sizing Solutions second and in third place is Liberty's Gift with Empresario next. They're on the run to the final fence and enjoy responsibly and David Mullins who's been in front from the drop of the flag is out in front and enjoys a clear lead as they come down to the final fence now. Enjoy responsibly over and clear. In second place is Sizing Solution with Liberty's Gift in third. Empresario and Mr. 51 but it's a pillar to post victory for Enjoy Responsibly and David Mullins who will win it by a good Good eight lengths to sizing solution. Empresario just third. Liberty's gift, Mr. Second and in third place is Liberty's Gift with Empresario next. They're on the run to the final fence and enjoy responsibly. And David Mullins, who's been in front from the drop of the flag, is out in front and enjoys a clear lead as they come down to the final fence now. Enjoy responsibly over and clear. In second place is Sizing Solution with Liberty's Gift in third. Empresario and Mr. 51. But it's a pillar to post victory for Enjoy Responsibly and David Mullins, who will win it by a good eight lengths to Sizing solution empresario De Peak is now making ground the outside of Valor's Minion, and then comes King Leon and Admiral Barton. On the run now towards the final fence, and as De Peak now, and James Kane comes through, the loose horse causing a few problems. Painted Lady followed by Valor's Minion, as they come now towards the final fence. It's as De Peak over in front. Valor's Minion is running on strongly on the outside. They're racing inside the last 200, and Valor's Minion responding well to Mark Enright will stride on to win by by a couple of lengths. Valor's Minion wins, second home as the peak in third painted lady. Admiral Barton is fourth and then King Leon and Baby Wiz. The peak is now making ground the outside of Valor's Minion, and then comes King Leon and Admiral Barton. On the run now towards the final fence, and as the peak now, and James Kane comes through, the loose horse causing a few problems, Painted Lady, followed by Valor's Minion, as they come now towards the final fence. It's as the peak, over in front, Valor's Minion is running on strongly on the outside. They're racing inside the last 200, and Valor's Minion responding well to Mark. Enright will stride on to win by a couple of lengths. Valor's Minion wins second home as the peak in third painted lady.
And then next after these, Railway Zero from Corrigs and Bridget's Pet needs to quicken quickly. Coming down to the second last. And she's a portrait trying to make every yard. Is out in front from Horrendous Hullabaloo. Then Railway Zero in third from the housekeeper, Corrigs and Bridget's Pet as they approach the final fence. And she's a portrait. The Limerick Mayor winner jumps the last in front from Horrendous Hullabaloo in second place. And from pillar to post, Mark Enright steals a peep over his shoulder. It's job done. And she's a portrait will win from Horrendous Hullabaloo, then Railway Zero, then the housekeeper. And they've come home clear of Bridget's Pet and Corrigs. And then next after these, Railway Zero from Corrigs and Bridget's Pet needs to quicken quickly. Coming down to the second last. And she's a portrait trying to make every yard. Is out in front from Horrendous Hullabaloo. Then Railway Zero in third from the housekeeper, Corrigs and Bridget's Pet as they approach the final fence. And she's a portrait. The Limerick Mayor winner jumps the last in front from Horrendous Hullabaloo in second place. And from pillar to post, Mark Enright steals a peep over his shoulder. It's job done. And She's a portrait will win from horrendous hullabaloo, then railway zero, then the housekeeper, and they've come home clear.